Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to our slash liminal space. We're going to be exploring some liminal spaces. If you like this video, please a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. With the maths department. We have mathematics and schematics, or statistics. The stairs. I've heard that if you no clip into the stairs, You'll fall. If you climb, then you might go oh, oh, to heaven. <laughs> the cart collection area by Loco Lowe's. That's an interesting area. Roads to nowhere. Isn't that all roads, though? How terrifying. What a beautifully a horrifying vibe that this gives off. Especially at night. It's supposed to be driving in the day and yet here we are at night on a path. Just outside at night is like... automatically liminal in the in like every human psyche because it's like not something you're so really supposed to be doing corridor let's go another hallway hello Well, I've never seen this picture before, and yet somehow it is extremely familiar. Like an old memory. Furniture! I actually saw someone make a um, double-decker couch, which seems like a really interesting idea. Hmm. Honestly, really nice couches. Oops. Oops. Back rooms. Hmm. Interesting. Sweet dreams. Seeing the neighborhood at night with all the street lights on. Bus will be leaving soon. That hallway at my friend's new apartment. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Is this liminal? What, a hallway? Of course it is. Hang on, is that a school hallway? That's even more liminal than and it was before because schools at, at night are freaking terrifying. Foggy. The fog makes amazing liminal spaces, like it did this morning before or the sun came out and made it go away. A liminal office. I think that um, that's probably one thing that uh, uh, I kind of didn't really get to, that I didn't really appreciate when and it comes to um, the Stanley Parable. Which is just that an empty office is an extremely uncanny and odd experience.
Just a motel toilet. Motels are just crazy in general. Anybody home? Oh, they aren't home. Pizza time! Let's go, the memories of restaurants like this. I haven't been to one of these in forever. Found a way to make tennis liminal. Oh, wow. Yeah. Foggy parking lot. Amazing. Echoes in an empty hallway. The vending machines. I've actually seen that at, at center one. That center one is actually in the center parable, which I was just talking about. How funny is that? Infinite bathroom. Oh, you did the mirror thing. That's interesting. Weirdest building ever. That building is actually a little bit odd. Is that like a diner with all the chairs outside? Or is it like someone's backyard or what? Not a way, that is a bit unsettling. It's like an audience. An audience that nobody can see. So sweet. I love uh, 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 of these glorious hallways. I love of even more is that there's like graffiti on the walls to make it even more interesting. My kids' daycare gave me a that vibe this morning. Oh yeah, I imagine a lot of daycares could give you this vibe. A glimpse. To what we lost. Street. Don't play in the streets, kids. Everything is just down the hall. Istanbul Levent. Okay. That's just a city. Oh, gosh. That is a mess. Damn. You transition from this, it looks like a really, really neat, like, mall or something. And then, uh, it looks like an abandoned in the warehouse or something. The lights are so loud. The parking lot. With those awful fluorescent lights. I do not like fluorescent lights. Just as a vibe in general, they're really corporate now. I don't like them. I don't like lights that are just pure white. I like the warm yellow or lights that you get in your homes. They feel, look more comfortable. Because pure white lights just feel incredibly oppressive and, and corporate. Kind of like schools and hospitals are. Anyway. Very snowy swamp? Huh. Well, what do you know? In the Blue Ridge Mountains, there is much wildlife and landscapes. Many unexplored areas are hidden by the mountains. It is said that if you venture too far out, you will come across a house in an unnaturally foreseen condition. If you come across this anomaly, run. It is already looking for you. 
Well, that, um, that kind of ruined it. It made it more like a backrooms thing. But I do like it. The possibly Limel knows old shots of my school. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Would this be considered liminal? Yes. Dyke Street. Amazing. I'm going to avoid a, 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 the streets at night. It's a rainy day here. And when you look at that. Oh wow, that is actually... Amazing. Uh, they're sharing the dream core liminal space art they just made. Wow. You've got the clouds, you've got the kind of um fake sky going on there. I love that. A part of the reason why I love weird core is or in dream core is liminal spaces and also I think I like level spaces because they remind me of Dream Core and Weird Core as well. It's kind of a thing where I love the thing. The Finnish Forest at Winter is eerie. Let me see if I can find a Dream Core subreddit. That's good. Snow at night. Hmm. You don't really get to see much snow at night. Who lemonality? Let's go. Pools are great for or liminal spaces, and they have so many memories. And actually. These look like those um rooms, and I'm almost surprised I'm not hearing that one song right now. How's the lyrics of the song, if you think you know what it is? I'm not going to tell you, and I'm not going to share, um, play it in this video, because copyright and stuff. And also, I forgot the name. I like the pool liminality because I like pool memories and I just remember them really vividly. Probably because like all sounds when you're when you're playing in a pool echoes so they're really loud. A strange place in my city's hospital. It's like a video, we're just gonna ignore that. Fog. Oh no. The fog is consuming all. Actually, I think that's enough for today. That was our slash liminal space. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Try not to get at loss in the memories. I have no idea what I'm, going, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.